Hey guys, Captain Mike, Whiskey and Whittacher coming at you tonight with the whiskey. What are we doing tonight? We're doing Pendleton, Canadian whiskey. Why? Because a couple months ago, Zach Tanner 3461 suggested that I give Pendleton a try. So I bought the rye whiskey and it's been sitting on the shelf for a couple of months. And tonight I decided to pop the top and give it a go. I bought their Canadian whiskey a couple of weeks ago. We're not going to open it tonight. I've realized that if I try and open too many bottles, and even two for me is too many, I guess, then those reviews uh, devolve pretty quickly and end up in the recycle bin. So we'll open that Pendleton Canadian whiskey sometime, but not tonight. But I'm excited about this Pendleton rye whiskey. And let's talk about it before we uh, get into it. It is 100% rye, which is awesome. I don't have very many rye whiskeys that are 100%. The Whistle Pig Six Year is 100% rye. Some of the High West, they're really high rye ryes, but I don't think any of those are 100% rye. I have a Whistle Pig 12 Year, and I don't think that it's 100% rye, and it's almost three times as much as this bottle of Pendleton rye. This is the 1910. I paid $46.01 for this bottle. It is 80 proof, aged in oak barrels in Canada. Then they ship it down to Oregon, and they use water from Mount Hood to proof it down to 80 proof. And I think this bottle is, I don't know if you can see the raised glass or not. It is a beautiful bottle, really well done. 12 year rye whiskey. Wow, what a nose. That is so different than High West and then the uh, Whistle Pig piggyback. I had another rye a couple days ago, uh, the uh, Lost Monarch. Now that's 55% rye and 45% uh, bourbon, so a low rye rye, but man, this nose is way different. Man, some wood maybe, burnt wood. Man, I don't know what's going on there. Hmm. Yeah, a little burning action there as I'm smelling that. Deep, it's got a deep nose. Definitely different than any High West that I've smelled, any other rye. Let's give it a go. It's nice. Maybe a nice pit fruit in there. Mm. Pendleton rye, it's different. It's only 80 proof, there's no burn. It's a 12 year, so I think that cuts down on the rye spices a little bit. Cause I don't feel like I'm getting the same notes that I get on like say, again, the High West is what I've drank the most as far as the rye's go. There's almost no bite, none of that kind of spice burn I associate with a high rye. And you would think a 12 year rye would be just crazy with those notes, but I think maybe that 12 year kind of mutes that and kind of brings the wood out uh, from the age in that, those oak barrels. So a nice finish, just kind of not super long, just a little bit of a finish there. It's definitely dry. It's one of the driest whiskeys that I've tasted. There is no sweetness in there at all. Just, I'm thinking Mrs. Captain would really like this whiskey. It is right up her alley. Low proof, dry, a little bit of pepper, not too much burn. And I can't wait till she gets home to try the Pendleton rye whiskey. It's not blowing my socks off, but I am really enjoying it. I think it's a nice, easy sipper for $46.01. I think the Pendleton Rye at 12 years of age, it's a pretty good deal. I would be happy to drink this at any time, any day. So if you haven't tried the Pendleton Rye, and I know we bag on Canadian whiskeys for some reason here in the United States, but uh, this, uh, this Pendleton Rye deserves a spot on your shelf. All right, guys, that's it for tonight. I hope you're reading something good and drinking something great. Turn those pages, my friends, and stay thirsty. Cheers.